my mother and father taught me from as early as I can remember, in America, you can be whatever you want to be, but you have to work hard to get it. There really is a lack of uh, business education going on in most high school curriculum. So I was actually quite shocked in my interactions with how little kids actually understand about what is a business, what is entrepreneurship, what, uh, what's profit and loss and, um, and expense. A lot of times at home, you know, parents don't really see the value of business and don't see the value of implementing that and letting kids know about those principles and that they can build something and build a business. The city needs youth empowerment. The city needs financial literacy. The city needs uh, entrepreneurial energy. What better program than Lemonade Day to bring to Washington, D.C.? Lemonade Day uh, functions as a service learning project for all the students that are in the George Washington University first year development. So it's about between 350 and 400 students who will go out into the community uh, in all eight wards of DC and they will teach entrepreneurship and business skills to these children in DC. We are responsible for reaching out to the schools and making sure that we have partnerships and actual students to mentor. Uh, we coordinate all of the mentors, uh, work with FYDP and also students and other organizations that want to volunteer on their own time. Social entrepreneurship is any entrepreneurship project that has a social meaning and a connection to communities. So Lemonade Day would be the perfect example of a social entrepreneurship project. Our college students see that they realize that these children have so much potential that is untapped. When we started with Lemonade Day, the kids, you know, they got a little briefing as to, all right, well, this is what we're gonna do. And the kids were like, okay, I, I hear you. So wait, I'm gonna make the stand? Yes, you're responsible for the stand. Like, so I'm gonna be selling the lemonade? Yes, this is your business. Okay. <laughs> so the kids, they, they like having that type of responsibility, knowing that I'm in charge. This is my responsibility. This is what I'm going to uh, accomplish. He is someone who is so passionate about allowing his children to kind of break down some of those barriers and hands in, let's just, let's go and do it. Let's go and do it and let's see what you learn from it and let's figure out how this can help you grow as a person. We used community forklift and they're this great organization slash company where they um, take donated materials from old construction sites and they'll repurpose them, they'll sell them to um, not-for-profits for a low cost. Good job, guys. <laughs> We've just developed this beautiful relationship with PNC over the past three years now. They became our presenting sponsor. As soon as I heard about it, I thought this is exactly the type of program that PNC should get involved in. So we got involved in 2013. Working with Sonia has been really amazing. She is just so positive and patient and just loves Lemonade Day and just really believes in what we're doing. She rallies together a group of PNC volunteers who go out and teach the Lemonade Day curriculum in schools. The excitement on their faces just says it all. The way they market, the way they bring customers in. <laughs> One, two, three. entrepreneurship and teaching children this lifelong lesson that you can do it on your own. You just need people that believe in you and people that will invest in you. And not everybody has that. So us providing mentors for those children and encouraging them to go and ask people to believe in them, I think is huge.
I think what we're doing is just kind of planting that seed, getting them to think about these things at a really early age that they can keep developing throughout their lives in high school, you know, in college, and then after that. Our vision is that at some point in their life, 72 million children in America would have the experience of opening a lemonade stand and learning the principles that stand behind the idea of owning and operating your own business and then taking that into four key life goals. Set a goal, uh, make a plan to achieve it, work it, and then achieve your dream. So that's a big vision, but we absolutely believe it's possible. What my deepest hope for this program in DC is beyond the, the financial literacy terms and the connection with the college students is that 15 to 20 years from now one or some or many or all of these participants are going to be the next business leaders in Washington DC and they're going to be creating jobs for their peers and for people younger than them and people older than them. And they're going to be creating that entrepreneurial energy and that economic energy for their own community and for this city and for this country.